cool art stuff for kids. And uh, we've already drawn a hot dog on a stick, as you recall, or a corn dog. So uh, today we're going to draw, we're going to be drawing a hot dog, a wiener dog. So um, here's what we got to do. We got to divide this paper ah, in half, hamburger style. So we know where a halfway point is. Uh, in this case, most of our dog's head is going to be on this side of the paper. That's why I divided it in half, so I know where that is. And then um, I'm going to go hot dog style this way. And I know that my bun is going to run this way across the page. So let's get some preliminary sketches in there. We're going to need a circular head for the dog. And some big floppy ears coming down. About right there. This is really rough. Really rough. Over on this side, we've got another ear hanging down pretty big. There we go. Divide the face in half. And uh, divide the face and mm, maybe not. Maybe a little lower. Maybe right there. About, what is that? Two-thirds of the way down or a third of the way up. And uh, we're going to have the nose for this guy right about here. There we go. And there. That looks pretty good right there. And then, um, let me clean that up a little bit. Underneath that, we're going to have this mouth come around like that. Boom on this side and ba-boom on that side. So these are about across. And then above that, <clears throat> Right here, we're going to go out like that, out like that, symmetrical, like a mirror. Um, I think we're going to go with a little bit of a cheek line here. These can always be erased and readjusted, of course. And if I'm moving too slowly for you on this hot dog drawing, um, you can always slow the video down and then catch up later. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. Eyes. Gonna go womp. Oh, he's gonna be a cute devil. Look at this. Womp. Try to get them about the right size. Ooh, they're nice and big. All the way around. And again, remember we used to practice on some of our beginning doing our circles and getting them just right in our ovals. So that's how we're getting such a nice round shape here and here. Within the eyes, I'm going to go a second circle. A little smaller. Yeah, like that. And on this side, he's touching this inside line just like he did here. There we go. I'm going to give him a highlight right about there. Give him another inside pupil part and then we'll add the rest when we add color so his cute face is partway done there we go looking good we're gonna have um, maybe a highlight of white here I'm playing this out ahead and across his nose I'm gonna have a highlight there and then a nostril right about there. A little nostril right about there. Okay, he's looking cute now. All right. Now, these lines are going to go whoop, 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 right about like that. And then his ears are going to go fold it over, bring it down nice and floppy, curve it around. There we go. Curve it around, and then these are gonna come back into his body, a body into his head like this. There we go, looking good. I think we're gonna give him a little bit of a spiky hairdo, just a little bit, fine and dandy. And now, coming out of this guy's mouth, we're gonna have. His tongue about like that 
Pay attention to the swirling motion of the tongue. Kind of licking his chops. Yeah, there you go. Um, I think we're going to go boom, 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 boom. And I have some more dots here. Not exactly sure, but I like them. And they add to the cuteness quality of this guy. There we go. <clears throat> and then... There. There. Now we're getting her. Now we're getting her done. Now the shape of the dog's face is roundish from just about here on the eyes out. And there's my original folded line, remember? Right there. So I'm going to use that as a guide to help me where I'm going to put these cheekbones on this dog. There we go. And then he's... Uh, Shaggy, 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 and more shagginess on this side. <clears throat> and uh, underneath him, we've got a mouth coming down, maybe one solitary canine tooth. Mouth goes here, and more shagginess underneath. There. He's got a collar on. There it goes across here and up. There we go. He's got a spiked collar on. Looks something like this. There we are. Clean up a little bit of that mess up there. Okay, and now the hot dog part is going to happen right about now. Boom, 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 boom. It's about this big. It's going to come underneath here. Oh, we're going to go sketchy, sketchy, and come up like this. Uh, that bun is going to go behind his collar. There we go. Come across. The bun up over the top, and the hot dog is going to be about right there. <clears throat> and it's going to travel along here, come out over here. Uh, there we go. A little bit of a tail. There we go. A tail spike action there. I like it. There we go. And he's going to have an opening in the bun right about here for his back leg. And then up front, he's going to need one, I think, right about here for this leg. Leg coming down. There we go. Shaggy, shaggy, shaggy. Foot. Bun. Other foot. Shaggy, shaggy. Here it comes. Now we're looking like a hot dog. Back leg. Kind of this shape. And he's got that paw resting on the ground. One paw, one um, paw. What are those called? Toes, claws, pads of his feet, something like that. This guy, maybe here, maybe here, there. Now he's looking like a hot dog. Now, I'm gonna have um, a slight adjustment here. I'm gonna move the bun up so there's more of the hot dog showing. There we go. More of the hot dog showing. How about some Swiss cheese hanging out all the way down, maybe. Another piece down here. There we go. Like Swiss cheese on your hot dog? Some people do, some people don't. Here we go. Thickness, thickness, thickness. Okay, 
up there, cross around here, cross here, boom, just like that. And uh, what else? Mustard and ketchup. Mustard and ketchup coming off. Right about here, we're gonna have some underneath, hanging down, bury the amount of it. There we go. Boom, dripping down underneath the backside. Okay, what else can you have? A little more ketchup here, coming down. Splooshing out, mustard and ketchup on the backside. We have some ketchup hanging down right about there. And this goes underneath his body, the rest of the bun. There he is, cute little guy. Here we go with the color portion of this hot dog. Uh, gosh, I, I hope you uh, relish every second of this tutorial. I'm gonna take my eraser and lighten up all the lines now on my character. Just so when I do the yellows and the lighter colors, they don't pick up too much of the pencil lead and, and make it smeary. So I've taken the liberty to add a few more details to this drawing. I uh, kind of changed the way the ketchup and the mustard were hanging off of the dog and, and made the paws and the back legs a little more realistic, even though it is a cartoon. But I'm quite proud of this little guy. Okay, color, here we go. Let us start with um, the dog's head himself. Um, no, I'm going to do the hot dog because that's probably the most challenging color to come up with. And uh, I'm not even sure if I have a good color for that, but I'm going to go with maybe this oil pastel brown. Just a little bit. And try to figure out how to make that a hot dog color all the way through. with my finger. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not enough color there. Let's go with a uh, brownish kind of colored pencil over here. I'm going to have to buy one. I do not have a brownish colored pencil. Um, so I'm going to go back and add a little bit more of this brown. And just kind of fill it in the best I can. And then maybe I'll smooth it out with a white pencil over the top. Let's give that a try and see how well that works. Hot dog right there, hot dog right there. Right, hot dog right there. Oh, that's the bun. This is a hot dog, Damon. Hello. Um, cheese all the way across, a little more action in there. Okay, now, I had a white pencil somewhere. Let's see what this does. Does it smear it enough? Mm, it kind of does. Yeah, I'll accept that. That'll be okay. That's going to have to work, for lack of a better color. It's kind of blending, kind of smearing it. So just be patient. And the rest of this tutorial, I think I will go into uh, hyper time-lapse mode for this. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to go with some Yellow, Swiss cheese, yellowish white maybe. There we go. That's our Swiss cheese piece. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on that bun. That's gonna be a challenge too, because I don't have any decent, no decent uh, color for that. Here we go. There we go. I think I'm gonna have to outline this with black just to give it some emphasis. Did I say it was going to be a time lapse? Pretty soon. Pretty soon. Just explaining some of these basics. Those are the hardest parts. Okay. Yeah. And now a little mustard hanging down maybe about here. That's what I like right there. The mustard hanging down underneath that. That's going to be ketchup. Uh, maybe this will be mustard over here. Hanging on the back side of that hot dog. Um, you know, if you get a chance, check out Netflix. They've got a uh, hot dog movie that's really great. And uh, I heard that uh, at the Academy Awards, it's going to be an Oscar wiener. <laughs> oh, God. 
Help me. Somebody help me. Somebody stop this guy. Okay. Um, ah, I hate it when I don't have browns, and I don't have any browns, so I'm just going to have to fake this bun. Here we go. Give me a little more of this oil pastel. Oh, that's not a bad color. Here we go. Time lapse mode. Time lapse mode. <laughs> And I think we're done with that.